Hey there, today I wanted to show you guys how to take full advantage of conditional programming on your Decent. And this is really to ensure that when you're dialing in a coffee, you waste less coffee, even if your grind sizes are off. So the two settings I want to show off are maximum weight limits in each step, especially in an advanced profile. And then I want to show off a flow rate goal towards the end of your shot, which also utilizes conditional programming. And that's actually already built into the Londinium profile. And maybe I'll talk about that in the future. So you can apply weight limits and maximum flow rate targets uh, in a variety of places. But what's been working for me is uh, really when my grind size is a little bit too coarse is how do we ensure the flow rates don't go too crazy so we have a drinkable result. Even though it might not be super ideal, of course, and you should totally adjust your grind size instead, you can definitely save some of your shots by just having a lower flow rate overall. So let's take a look at these two different settings. I'll be using Damien's LRV2 as an example. Seems like everybody uses this profile anyway. So of course you have to have a Bluetooth scale if you want to utilize a weight limit during this step here. Now, you can kind of ignore how this specific tablet looks here. Uh, the graphics are a little bit off because this is a new fancy tablet. But basically in the first two steps of this specific profile, really uh, many of these profiles is when you are introducing water into the space between your puck and your group head, Oftentimes, especially if you're doing a lever profile, it utilizes an incredibly high flow rate, which is a super fast fill. What ends up happening, and this is a great example if your grind size is too coarse, you'll probably already get like 10 to 15 grams in cup before the machine recognizes to actually start ramping up and, X and targeting a certain pressure. This is a great example of where your grind size is just a little bit too coarse, but just fine enough so that the machine is able to actually reach a certain pressure and target that. So, uh, so oftentimes when you're pulling a shot that's just slightly too coarse with a profile like this, uh, when it's pre-infusing in these first two steps, you're reaching like 10, 15 grams in cup, and then when it actually recognizes like, hey, let's ramp up to, uh, let's ramp up to six or nine bars, it's actually able to reach maybe six or six to nine bars because your profile, your grind size is just a little, is just fine enough. But your result isn't going to be ideal because of all of that flow rate at the beginning. It's just too much. So how do we fix that? Well, we add in a weight limit here, which is in this step three here, which is a maximum weight. So essentially, we force the machine to go on to the next step in the profile. Very much like a real lever, if you lift up on your lever and you see a ton of flow out, what you should do is you should just push down the lever to start wrapping up pressure and you can save your shot. This is very similar to that. So in step one and step two here in the fill and infuse stage, all I'm going to do is I'm going to add in a weight limit of two grams. So what ends up happening is if the machine connected to the Bluetooth scale recognizes that your result in cup is above two grams, go on to the next step, start trying to build pressure. This will ensure that your shot is actually saved here even if your grind size is too coarse. I'll show you the shot that doesn't have this weight limit here, and then I'll show you a shot that has the weight limit. All right, so this here is Damien's LRV2. The only adjustment I've done is I've just made it go to six bars instead of nine. Would highly recommend you all try this out. But basically, this is an example of where your grind size is just a little bit too coarse. So for a majority of the shots, say about up until like 25 to 30 grams, what you're actually getting in cup is all from fill and infuse. So in this specific example, where you're pre-infusing, you introduce all this flow, and then the machine is targeting a three bar uh, pre-infusion pressure, which is what the Londinium profile does. And this entire section is, you're getting co coffee in cup, but it's at a weird pressure, right? It's at such a low pressure, but it's still fine enough where the machine is actually able to, at least towards the end of the shot, uh, able to actually ramp up pressure and target, say, six bars here. So that most of the time is probably not gonna be so tasty. Uh, but how can we fix that? What we can do is we can actually introduce a weight limit here, and I'll show that to you after I pull this shot. But first, but basically, the thought process behind adding that weight limit is, hey, if your grind size is a little bit too coarse, just skip all of this and go directly into building pressure. And this will result, if you're grinding just slightly too coarse, in my opinion, you'll get a much more drinkable shot, at least in my testing. But again, depends on what coffee you're using, and again, depends on what uh, grinder you have. But anyway, let me pull a shot here, just stock, no weight limiter at all, no weight maximums. And 
pay attention to beverage weight here. So we're getting a ton of coffee in cup right now. We're getting like 20 something grams. And this is all from our pre-infusion pressure. But you'll notice here, the machine was still able to sort of target that higher pressure of about six bars. And it's so coarse that we're getting more than 36 grams in cup. But as you notice here, all of this, this whole entire section here is all, I would say, bad stuff. Uh, although again, depends on what type of equipment you're using, what coffee you're using, but it is still fine enough where we're able to actually build a little bit of pressure. Still was able to target that six bars in step three of this profile. But what if we just instead skip all of this pre-infusion stuff, this three bar pre-infusion stuff, because that is not gonna taste good because our grind size is so coarse, but instead let's take all that water that we're gonna use there and let's put it towards building pressure. And that's exactly what these uh, weight limiters are going to allow us to do. So instead of this pre-infusing for such a long time, what we're gonna see is we're gonna see this initial fill at the beginning, then an immediate ramp up in pressure because of the beverage weight or really the weight in each step. Like on a real lever, if we see the grind size is too coarse, we can just pull down the lever harder. You can just skip this three bar pre-infusion step. So how do we do that? Well, let's go back in the profile. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go pretty aggressive and add in a two gram uh, weight maximum at the fill stage. So if during that initial uh, eight mils per second fill, we go above two grams, let's go to the second step. If during this three bar pre-infusion target, if we go above two grams, let's start building pressure. If we get above four grams of coffee, we should be actually building the rest of the shot at around six bars. So let's go ahead and take a look at what that does. You'll notice how the machine has skipped into building pressure. There you go. So this was even able to go into the pressure decline in the londinium step. So we were able to get all the way into step five and six actually of this profile. So this is a much more drinkable result than the first shot because we are actually able to build the pressure. And you can, of course, of course, please experiment. And this is not a solve. I repeat, this is not a solve for actually just fixing your grind size. As you can see there, the machine just advances onto the next step, then the resulting pressure and flow graphs are a bit different. And because we have that weight limit and we force the machine to basically start building pressures, we get a much more drinkable result. Now, of course, this is going to depend on coffee, depend on what you're aiming for, because sometimes you can have a weirdly weird looking graph, things can taste completely okay, but this is to ensure that your initial stages of your shot don't go too crazy. That's pretty cool where the machine actually just says, you know what, the flow rate's way too high because you ground too coarse because the weight in the cup is too high. Let's skip all of that and begin using step three, four, five, and six in this specific profile. Let's start actually targeting that pressure goal that you see up there, which is nine bars. And this ensures that your shot, if you grind too coarse at the beginning, if you're using a fast filling profile like Londinium here, that your shot is much more drinkable than if you didn't use the weight limit. To kind of showcase the second part of this is, what if, if you're grinding just fine enough where the first part of the profile is okay, where your pre-infusion is looking all, all right, but the second part where when your machine starts to ramp up pressure and target a certain pressure, your flow rate goes too high and things don't taste very good. I'll show you an example here on the visualizer of a Cremina profile and a Londinium profile. So this is really what sh is showcasing the Londinium profile's forgiveness is I feel like a lot of new owners, they try the Londinium profile and they're like, oh, so good. Then they switch over to the Cremina profile and they're like, how come things go crazy? The Cremina profile doesn't taste good even though the grind size is the same because you know, all lever profiles are the same, right? Well, here is what differentiates the Londinium profile to the Cremina profile. And that's really in step four, five, and six here, which is 
an application of move on it. For those of you who do not know how a lever machine works, and I kind of find it funny here because Londinium is a spring lever machine, but this really reminds me of my experiences with a direct manual lever machine where I can visually see if my grind size is too coarse and I can compensate based on how hard I pull down on the lever. So an example of this is in the step three to six area where when I'm pushing down the lever to ramp up the pressure to nine bars, after I hit that nine bar area, I'm trying to decline, which is step four, five, and six. If my grind size is too coarse, all I have to do to compensate is just not push down on the lever so hard. So my flow rate doesn't go too crazy. That's exactly what the Londinium profile is doing. In step four, five, and six, if you notice in the bottom here, there is this move on if section, which says move on to the next step if your flow is over 2.8 milliliters per second. And as you notice here, the pressure goal is also three bars. So what ends up happening is your pressure is gonna be gradually declining here and it's gonna be, t and you'll notice your flow rate here as it's simulating you pushing down on the lever here, the flow rate is gradually increasing. But as you see here, magic, step number six, which says flow limit at 2.5 milliliters per second. So what the machine will target here in flow rate goal is 2.5 milliliters per second. So if you take a look at these two Griffin graphs here, and we take a look at the Cremina lever machine, the Cremina profile is very similar as well, but it doesn't have this move on if section and it doesn't have a move on if to a final flow rate goal like the Londinium profile does. So this is what's really cool here. It says, hey, wait a second, your grind size is too coarse because your flow rate is above 2.8 milliliters per second. Let's go from step four to step five. The same exact conditions there. It says, hey, wait, your flow rate is too high. It's over 2.8 mils per second. Let's skip all of that and let's go and target that flow rate goal of 2.5 milliliters per second. So what you'll find out is that you'll see your flow rate go up and then it'll stabilize. This is much different than the Cremina profile, which doesn't have these conditions here that essentially says, wait a second, your grind size is too coarse. Let's lower the flow rate very much like if you're doing a real lever. So I hope this was really interesting is, well, having these two safety conditions, I'll call them, uh, allows you to waste less coffee as and also have more drinkable shots, even if your grind size is vastly off. But this is not a solve for actually making your grind size correct. But this is a great way to ensure that if you're just close enough, you'll get a drinkable result. But I hope this was helpful. Please let me know if you have any questions and th I'll be showing off a bunch of other cool, decent stuff. But I've been utilizing these two features and I've had a lot more drinkable coffee, even if my grind size is off. So that's all I wanted to show you guys today. Thank you for spending this time to watch the video. I'll see you around.